All right, you guys, so today we're gonna to be talking about uh, my future plans for the Corvette. So everybody's always asking me, what's next? You know, the nitrous, turbo, supercharger? And the short answer is, I'm going with a supercharger. Um, I just feel like the supercharger is the best option for me because it's the most common uh, build that you see on the Corvettes. It's like the easiest way to make power. Um, with the least amount of hassle. You don't really have to worry about any custom fabrication like you do with the um, with the turbos. And um, it's just better bang for your buck instead of, you know, nitrous because you'll spend a lot more money trying to make the same amount of power on nitrous. So I just feel like the supercharger is the best way to go about it. Um, and I know a lot of people might argue uh, nitrous is quick, easy power, cheap power, but you won't make as much without spending more money. So that's why I supercharger tip the scale for me. Now, I will be going with a um, a, a kit from a, a Superchargers. Uh, I already talked to Andy and got a kit on the way and everything. So uh, yeah, shortly I will be recording the whole process of me supercharging the car, um, installing the supercharger, dynoing it, just pretty much, I'll try to show the whole process. I know it's a lot and it might be kind of tough for me to work and record, um, but I'll try to use my GoPro head mount and get as much footage as I can or um, just do some time lapses or something to kind of get, you know, that process out there because it's not a lot of videos on YouTube um, of people actually supercharging the car. I think there's about three videos maybe, and you know they barely show you know the whole process. So I want to make a video to show the full process of how to supercharge the car, and um, just in case anybody else is trying to do it themselves at home and they need a hand or they have any questions or you know there'll be more videos out there to look at so that you can kind of follow along and have a guide on what to do. Um, Cause I, I know it's, it can be difficult with trying to read instructions and find things online to try to get, you know, get a good idea of how, how to do certain things. And sometimes you just gotta be creative. Sometimes you just gotta use prior knowledge and improvise and, and make things work. And <laughs> that could be tough for a lot of people. So I just want to put that out there because there's not a lot of uh, C6 Corvette content um, on YouTube in general, I feel like. And there's not a lot of content of people supercharging them. So yeah, I just want to show that process. So the kit that I did end up going with is a um, V2 TI kit. Uh, it's a oil fed or engine oil fed kit uh, instead of the self-contained kit. The reason why I went with that kit is because um, uh, they say you can overspin the blower a little bit and make a little bit more power if you need to. So uh, yeah, I just went with that one. Uh, it's, that's kind of like the race blower, I guess. Um, and it's not on the website, so you, you can't just or you got to call in and get it spec specifically to get that one. So, um, yeah, I talked to Andy over there at a and and we got everything that I need, got to expect. I talked to my tuner, asked him anything that I would need, and uh, he also helped me out, told me everything I would need, recommended with what I should get so that everything can go as smoothly as possible when I dyno it um, because he is kind of far. So... I want everything to go smoothly when I dyno it so I can take it out there and bring it back home the same day and I don't have to drop it off and leave it and plan how I'm going to go back out there because he's a couple hours away. So yeah, I just think it'll be a lot easier like that if I just, you know, make sure I get everything that I need and then take it out to him. Um, so I'm going to be doing an unboxing once I get the kit, so we'll do, we'll do an unboxing video. but um. I think everything that comes with it should be uh, the pulley, the head unit, the bracket, um, spark plugs, uh, injectors, and uh, just some mounting stuff for cooling. Oh, the intercooler. Um, 
blow off valve and piping and stuff. I will have to pin the crank so they, they have a crank pinning kit with it. So, um, Amazon truck. <laughs> That's a weird reverse noise. I don't know why, why they made that. But um, yeah, so uh, it does come with the crank pinning kit and um, that's not too bad to do. Uh, really probably just getting to it might be their biggest issue, but pin actually pinning the crank is, is a kit and they show you how to do everything. Um, the thing I'm probably the most worried about, well, I'm not really worried, but you know, a little worried about is um, the oil. So I have to drill into the oil pan to um, feed the engine oil to the head unit. So yeah, that's a bit sketchy to me. Um, I've never done anything that severe. So I guess that's gonna be a learning process and just, I don't know, hopefully everything goes good. Um, oh yeah, also it comes with the booster pump for the fueling. I won't be on E85 or uh, meth or anything. I won't be making that much power, but yeah, hopefully it makes, you know, a bit over 600, makes some pretty decent power. Uh, Nothing too crazy, just enough to, you know, make the car a little bit more fun, a little bit quicker, snappier, and um, hopefully just, just make a little bit more power. So yeah, I'm pretty excited. Um, I'm excited to start the journey, excited to do it all myself, and except for tuning, I don't tune, uh, <laughs> I don't mess with that. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to do it all myself. And like I said about the oil pan, it's a little sketchy, but we'll see how it goes. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, so the next time you guys see me will probably be the unboxing video. Um, just gonna do a quick video of everything that's, that comes in the kit. And um, it comes with a lot, of, a lot of little stuff. So I'm just gonna kind of sort everything out and make sure I got everything, make sure I have everything lined up and ready to go. And then um, the video after that, hopefully should be the install video. Um, I wasn't sure if I should make it one long video, like a, it'll probably be like an hour long video. Um, that'll be kind of tougher for me on the uploading part and everything will take a lot longer, but it'll be good for anybody watching that they can just have everything all in one. Or if I should make like part one and part two and just kind of do like half and half, I don't know. Um, I personally like when videos are just the full video, so I might just do that. Um, but yeah, that's it.